attacks in London, where seven people were killed and multiple people were injured. Obviously, our thoughts go out to everyone affected, but as, as a British person living in America, I feel compelled to address a certain theme that emerged through American coverage of this tragedy. The UK is reeling this morning from yet another terrorist attack. A city reeling from a terror attack. The UK uh, uh, under siege, essentially. London is under siege. This is a country and a city that, that feels in some ways, David, under siege. OK, here's the thing. For the record, in no way is Britain under siege. <laughs> is it upset? Yes. Is it pissed off? Oh, you fucking bet it's pissed off. <laughs> But to say it's under siege and that its people are reeling is to imply that it's somehow weak enough to be brought to its knees by three monumental assholes. And that, as an idea, is insulting. In fact, British people were so irritated by headlines about Britain reeling, like this one in the New York Times, they took to Twitter this morning using the hashtag things that leave Britain reeling to, sh <laughs> to show things that unlike terrorists, actually do have the ability to rock them to their very core, like accidental eye contact on the tube or in a lift, <laughs> and when people make tea in the microwave, <laughs> accompanied with a gif of a monkey screaming. Honestly, it was an uplifting demonstration of quintessentially British defiance, because the British people are never going to let terror change their way of life. And if you need proof of this, just look at this footage of people being evacuated from the scene. You see that one guy there? He refused to leave his pint of beer behind. <laughs> that is a one-man walking, keep calm and carry on poster. But perhaps my favourite reaction of all came from this man, who was in a restaurant and witnessed the attacks firsthand. He actually went back to that restaurant this morning to try and pay his bill and tip the staff. And when a reporter asked whether he was worried about his safety, this was his incredible response. We're not going to let these people win. And I keep saying, if me having a gin and tonic with my friends, flirting with handsome men, hanging out with brilliant women, is what offends these people so much, I'm going to do it more, not less. Because that's what makes London so great. It is. And I, I hope, I sincerely hope that that guy is out on the town tonight pounding down gin and tonics and flirting with every man he sees. <laughs> to you, sir, I say this. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to you. But for now, for now tonight, let's move on to Vladimir Putin.